mysterious criminal known as the Wrecker has wrecked the Hurricane Express and caused the death of the engineer. Larry Baker, who vowed to bring his father's murderer to justice, has reason to believe that the Wrecker is Walter Gray, head of the Air Transport Company. Larry has just escaped from agents of the Wrecker, who have orders to prevent him from interfering with the plans of the master mind. Wait here, Bates. Are you sure the girl knows where Stratton is? Yes, and we've got to act quick. The detectives are planning the trailer tonight. Yeah, we'll have to get rid of them and follow the girl when she leaves. We must get hold of Stratton at any cost. Any chance of Baker interfering? <laughs> Not a chance. I've got him locked up over at the airport. What are you doing here, Baker? The Wreckers gang. Capture them and we'll find out who the Wrecker is. And I'm positive she came this way. It's Edwards. What's he acting that way for? Hey, no, it ain't. It's Carlson. Gee, what do you know about that? I didn't do anything. I, I you was didn't, up. eh? You stole that mask of Edwards from the station at Plainville. I don't know what you're talking about. No use lying. We saw you take it off. What's your game, Carson? You're coming with us, Carson. 
We can make very good use of you. And I heard Gray and Jordan plotting to trail you and capture your father. Walter Gray? Well, why should he wish to harm my father? Because your father got away with a gold shipment after the wreck of the Hurricane Express. But he was only trying to save it from the wrecker. That's just it. Gray is either the wrecker or he's working with him. I've got to leave you. I must get back to the car. Be careful, Larry. They're desperate. So am I. I can't miss this chance of finding out who the wrecker is. I told you to drive home. It'll be a long time before you get home, Mr. Gray. We're all going for a ride. Stop this car, Baker. Stop, I tell you, or we'll shoot. Go ahead and shoot, and we'll all go over the cliff together. Try and turn off the switch. Stay where you are. You'll sign your own death warrant. Okay, Becker. I've got them covered. So you didn't have the nerve to shoot me, Gray. You're the kind that sends hired gunmen to kill a man after you have him locked up in your alibi all set. Gunman? What are you talking about? Uh, don't try to lie to me, Gray. I know you're the wrecker. You're the man that killed my father, and you're going to pay now. Wait, Baker. Give me a chance to explain. Explain? How will you explain what you did to me today? Why you and Jordan kidnapped Carlson in your plane? And what you were doing at the railroad yards tonight? I, I know you won't believe me, but the truth is, Jordan and I are both as anxious to find the wrecker as you are. You're not the only person that suspected I was the wrecker. The railroad officials suspected me because my airlines got all the business they lost on account of the mysterious train wrecks. Hey, they suspected me too. They blamed me for the wreck of the Hurricane Express on the strength of the lies that Carson told at my trial. We had to try and clear ourselves, so we figured Carlson was a tool of the wrecker, and we resolved to wring the truth out of him. Hey, he got away from us. But we ran across him tonight again at the railroad yards. Taking off the mask of Edwards. What? Carlson wearing the mask? Then it was you locked up Miss Martin and rifled the safe. Back up or I'll drill you. Get out of the car, quick. All of you. anything. You're going to the railroad office first thing in the morning, and we'll get at the bottom of Walk, 
Baker's taking Carlson into Edward's office. All right, I'll attend to it. Is Mr. Edwards in, Gloria? Well, yes. I'll tell him you're here. Send him in. But I tell you, we're operating our railroad at a dead loss. Even the stockholders are beginning to demand a change of management. I'll see you later. What's the meaning of this, Baker? This is the man who broke into your office last night, Mr. Edwards. All his actions are suspicious. He's either the wrecker or he knows who the wrecker is. There's my car. Baker must be around here somewhere. All right, Mr. Gray, I'll wait around here and pick up Baker when he comes back. But that doesn't explain what you were doing in my office last night. But I can't tell you anymore. My life is in danger. I've been threatened. I, I tell you, they'll kill me if I speak. You have nothing to fear, Carson. I'll see that you are fully protected. And it's your only chance to prove you're telling the truth. Come on now. Tell us what you know. All right. I'll tell you everything. The night the Hurricane Express was wrecked, I... <laughs> Help. Larry, what's the matter? Who hurt you? It was your father. My father? Why, that's impossible. I'm sure of it. I recognized him instantly. He was miles away in another town. I had just finished talking to him over the phone when you came in. Why, it would have taken him an hour to get here. And it must have been the wrecker wearing a mask of your father. That's bigger now. You're Larry Baker? Yes, why? You're under arrest for kidnapping Walter Gray, stealing his car, and assaulting his chauffeur. Oh, let me go. A man's been killed, and I'm trying to capture the murderer. Yeah, you'll have plenty of time to tell that to the judge. It was Stratton who fired that shot. I saw him distinctly. Pat down on Gloria Martin. She'll lead us to Satin. I've got a dictograph rigged up in her office. I'll get in on the line and see if I can find out anything. You'd better notify the authorities. Yes, sir. I'll be back shortly. Yes, Mr. Edwards. has just been shot in Mr. Edwards' office by a man impersonating you. Larry Baker tried to get the man who did the shooting, but he's been arrested on a charge of abduction. Baker's been trying to protect me. I've got to get him out of jail, that's oh, all. Hopeless. The bail will be tremendous. I don't care how much it is. I'm going to the mine to get some of the gold. Well, you mustn't do that. There are enough charges against you already. I don't care. Baker's got to this mess trying to help me, and I'm going to get him out of it. Well, we got our man. He's on his way to the gold mine. Are you sure? Absolutely. I just heard him telling it to Miss Martin over the phone. Well, we'll get there first and give him a little surprise party.
record sure knows his stuff. Here's our chance. Just a minute, miss. We have a message for you from your father. 